So moving on to measure quick. All right, I'm going to bring up a measure quick thing right here because everybody loves measure quick. It's the best thing in the world. Everybody loves it. So I got an email from them. Evidently, I'm on their email list, which makes sense because, you know, I had measure quick for a while. It says become the two to one contractor. Well, let me let me back up here for a second. I kind of assume people know what measure quick is, but. There's a lot of guys out there new, like Adrian, who was watching earlier that came by the house. He might not know what it is because he's still in school. Measure Quick is just a platform, an app that helps integrate tools and take measurements and do calculations. Uh, for anyone who remembers the iManifold, it's like taking the brain out of the iManifold and letting it work with various things. It's a pretty smart thing. <laughs> Jim Bergman is the guy behind it, just like the guy behind the iManifold to a certain degree. I, I never know how much... Jim Bergman was to do with the I-Manifold, but the way it looked, he had a lot to do with it. So well, that's, hey, there we go. It says, become the two-to-one contractor. And this is their newsletter. Blind maintenance, servicing equipment without significant problems is stupid. That caught me off guard. Servicing equipment without significant problems is stupid. And thank you, Wink HVAC, for that super chat. $5 super chat from Wink. And let me tell you what, that really helps out the show. It really helps me out because I, you, you heard that children conversation. That's not a made up thing for the show. That's real. Uh, so the $5 super chats, they help. That's part of how the show makes money. And it's really awesome that you did that. So thank you. Uh, this the stupid thing caught me off guard. It says, I wish I had a better word for it, but stupid really fits the case. It's a huge waste of time, talent, and resources in hopes of a sale that usually doesn't happen. What do you guys think of that statement? Because we're transitioning over into one of those smart monitors, which you put on your AC that feeds data a long, long, long way back to the original person who put it in the system or put in that data monitor at least. So it takes that data and they monitor the equipment and they cut your service visits down to one, or I guess you could do it to zero. Everything HVSR says stupid is stupid does. Well, I, I just I want to know what you guys think because we're all performing maintenances, and this is saying that you wouldn't have to do that anymore. It kind of makes sense to me to say that because if you're and I can't I can't do anything more on here because it's either going to play a video and uh, this thing up here that says you can now install all this. If you if you click the learn more button, it just goes to another thing where you fill out a form and stuff. So there's not really a, an expansion that I can show you guys. But we're familiar with things like Sensi Predict. That's a project he was working with. <laughs> we talk about football in the chat. Good luck with the football games, guys. I like the aspect of a human looking at the machine. I don't know why that is, and that might be just kind of foolhardy, but I like the idea of a human looking at the machine and checking things out, even if a brain, so to speak, electronic brain, a computer, computer brain, even if a computer brain could do it better because it can analyze all the different criteria and tell you if it's got a problem, essentially what Measure Quick does it tells you you have, hey, there could be low airflow. Hey, there could be this or it could be that. Hey, it's that's a pretty good idea, right? Do you think the technicians are going to be better than the machine? That's the question. But we're gonna we're gonna keep moving. I did all my stuff. The smart monitors I like. I like the smart monitors. I think they're really, really cool. They give you a lot of data. I think that's really, really nice. <laughs> Salesman Zach. I already feel like I need to take a shower just from doing that. I legit do. I like, I want people to do it, but I just don't know how to tell everybody. I don't know how to tell everybody. I like the monitors. This feels like we should end this show. I feel like the end is coming. That's not supposed to be prophetic. It's just, I'm saying the end is coming. If you don't like the monitors, we can talk about it next time. As always, guys, those of you in the live chat can change the content of the show by requesting or commenting or having a question. If you're a new person, don't be afraid to chat. A lot of these chatting guys that are sparring with each other, it's okay. They're all in good fun. Make sure you feel confident asking a question or talking to these guys because a lot of them, besides how full of crap they look, are really smart guys. So while being full of crap, make sure you realize that a lot of them are full of crap, but they're also extremely smart, experienced technicians. Never hesitate to ask them. Ask out loud. I'll discuss it. We'll get answers from them. Maybe I'll have some answers. Whatever. It's shop talk. Doesn't it sound like something shop talk should do, right? The whole shop is talking. That makes sense, right? That's good enough. So I'm going to get out of here. 
I hope you guys have a nice Sunday evening. I'll be back this week. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'll be back this week. Maybe, maybe Tuesday. We'll see that. <laughs> uh, RJ says Jehovah's Witnesses have said the end is coming many times. Yep. I think it was a 2012. I think the Mayans said it's about to be over. Oops, we missed it. 